morning. Good morning. And welcome to worship this morning. A special welcome to all of you who are visiting with us today and to those watching us online. Uh, before we get started today, uh, a couple of announcements. First of all, today is our Backpack Blessing Sunday. Um, and I, is it Nick and Gerald who brought the bus? There is a school bus over there that would make an excellent place for pictures of you with your backpacks today. So be sure to stop by there um, after the service this morning. But thank you to them for bringing that uh, bus today. Uh, also today, immediately following the church service, there is a meeting for anyone interested in volunteering for Sunday school, teaching or helping with Sunday school. You can either come today right after the service or Wednesday at 5.30 um, for a meeting for those interested in helping with Sunday school this year. And that is all the announcements I have this morning. I encourage you to read the rest in your bulletin today. We begin this service of celebration of music and psalms this morning with a responsive reading from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Our opening song, We Have Come Into His House, I invite the kids up to play instruments this morning. day and bless your name for you have done marvelous things you have made known your victory and revealed your saving love in the sight of all nations you have lifted up the lowly and given them honor you remember all your promises and love us with a love that is strong and true we pray to you this day O oh God that you would confirm in us once again the wonders of your love touch us with your holy Spirit, and lead us by the power of your living word, that we might love that which you love, and do that which you do, to your everlasting praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Our opening litany, sing a new song. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God with thanksgiving, with music and song. It is good to sing praise to you and make music to your name, O Most High. To proclaim your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. For you make us glad by your deeds, O God. We sing for joy at the work of your hands. We will sing of God's love forever. Young and old will hear and rejoice. For your unfailing love lasts forever. Your faithfulness is as enduring as the heavens above. Sing new songs to God. Praise God's name. Each day proclaim the good news of God's salvation. 
Tell everyone about the amazing things God has done. May your ways be known throughout the earth, O oh God, your saving power among people everywhere. May the nations praise you and sing for joy, for you govern them with justice and guide the actions of the whole world. I invite the kids to come back up for the children's sermon. Hi, everybody. Have you been to the stores to see all the school supplies lately? How many school supplies are, there, are, are at the stores? Basically none now, yeah. <laughs> they're, they've been really picked over. Yeah, but there have been a whole lot of them, right? So sometimes it's fun to go shopping and, and pick up all sorts of things and get pencils and pens and erasers and all sorts of things. Do you know what my favorite school supply is? Do you have a favorite school supply? Backpack, that's a good one. What's yours? Are you racers? Yeah. Well, how about you? None? No. Well, my favorite is a pencil. Uh -huh. And I like pencils because you can uh, write with them and you can create all sorts of things. You can color with them or mark things with them or take tests with them or do all sorts of useful things with them. But on the other end, there's something else. What's at the other end of a pencil? An eraser. I like erasers just like you do because erasers mean that I know I'm going to make mistakes. I can write stuff, but I can also erase stuff. So if I make a mistake, I can get rid of it, and I can try again. And in church, we learn that God forgives sins. And that's like God gives us an eraser. So if we make a mistake, and we know we're going to, right? We all make mistakes. God can say, I forgive you. And that means we don't have to live in that mistake anymore. It doesn't have to be stuck there on the page. But our, we can erase things that are wrong and we can start over okay well I have a poem here I want to say as a prayer will you pray with me I got two. you have two pencils oh you have a two okay <laughs> excellent all right let's say a prayer we thank you God for the fragrance of a new box of crayons the rainbow in each perfect row thank you for each bundle of snowy white notebook paper awaiting fresh possibilities May they remind us that you make all things new and bless us with abundance. Thank you for rulers, for every eraser that tops every pencil. May they help us remember to measure our blessings, but never your boundless love for us. To allow for the making of mistakes as a normal part of human learning. And as we lay out our new clothes for the first days of school, help us to remember to put on Christ too. But mostly help us remember that Jesus is always our best and most devoted teacher that we never outgrow all the lessons he teaches on how you want us to live and to love. Amen. All right. So be sure and come back later for the backpack blessing, but for now you can go back to your seats. You'll find today that a lot of the psalms we are reading and the songs we are singing are go together in our first <coughs> Psalm 100. Um, the, the opening song was based on the verse 2, Worship the Lord with gladness, come into his presence with singing. And then we sang, We have come into his house. Even now when Sid was giving the children's sermon, I was thinking of the verse from 119, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That reminder of learning and growing in God's word that we get. And the next song we are going to sing is based directly on Psalm 103, which we will read responsively before we sing 10,000 Reasons. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name.
sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing. Isaiah chapter 12 beginning with verse 4 and you will say on that day give thanks to the Lord call on his name make known his deeds among the nations proclaim that his name is exalted sing praises to the Lord for he has done gloriously let this be known in all the earth shout aloud and sing for joy O royal Zion for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our other reading is from Colossians chapter 3. Therefore, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. 
Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I always knew my brain was not like other people. I've always laughed at jokes that other people didn't particularly find funny. I've always had a lot of trouble at Family Feud, you know, the TV show, because the job you're supposed to do in the show is to predict what a man on the street would say in response to a particular question. And my brain just goes different places than other people do. Because I somehow grew up thinking differently than most people around me. And yet, there's one way in which I think my brain was very typical of at least men of my generation, especially of Texans of my generation. Because I grew up believing that you're supposed to be tough. You're supposed to be stoic and not show too much emotion. I grew up thinking that a man is supposed to not cry much and not feel too much and not do too much that will show people that you're vulnerable because those sorts of things can get you in trouble. They can get you teased. They can get you feeling like you're not good enough for certain kinds of things. But as I kept getting older, I came to realize that there was something missing from my life if I lived like that, if I continued to be strong and, and stoic in the face of pain or fear or anxiety. And I've even been taught by the church that it felt really important to always be full of joy and peace, maybe by lessons like the one I just read. And that I was supposed to not feel sad or angry very often. So that even those emotions seemed closed off to me. Because as a good Christian man, I thought I was supposed to always be strong and in charge of my emotions and in self-control all the time. Because I noticed something was missing, and because I was trying to connect with people who were having much stronger emotions than I did, and I just didn't understand them very well, I knew I needed to do something. So what I did is I started to go to movies. And I went to weird movies, I went to sad movies, I went to angry movies, I went to movies that had all sorts of confusing emotions that would make people feel all sorts of things. And when I was in those darkened theaters, often by myself, I learned how to cry. I learned how to have passion about things by watching romances. I learned to be a better boyfriend, I hope. But we'll see. <laughs> and by learning how people feel, how people are able to have emotions, are able to, to have passion about things, I think I was able to become a human being and more in command of my full self instead of just trying to be a narrow kind of control and boxed in. I learned that at the movies. But I didn't have to learn it there. As a Christian, I wish I learned earlier that there's a resource for us that can help us to explore those sorts of things right there in the Bible. And it's called the book of Psalms. Because the book of Psalms includes much joy and praise and self-control. I don't think anybody's ever been happier than the psalmist saying, Praise the Lord with lute and harp and tambourine. Praise the Lord with all of creation. But the psalms also contain, Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. The Psalms include, the Lord is my refuge and my strength. But they also include, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The Psalms include verses of terrifying anger, but also of incredible peace. As I might be able to walk through the valley of the shadow of death and not be afraid. You see, the Psalms are a resource where we experience not only nice, pious words, 
that we might expect to hear in church. But the full range of human emotion, the Psalms celebrate not only the praise of God, but the full range of what people might be able to say to God. The prayers that people might be able to say to express not only peace or joy, but also fear and anger and abandonment and all sorts of the emotions that people might need to feel in their lives. The Psalms that we celebrate today are a celebration of what human beings are, what human beings feel, and the fact that we can bring our whole selves, our whole hearts, our whole minds, our whole bodies before God, and God will hear us. It's right there in the Bible. Passion, fear, amazement, anger, loneliness. God knows what we feel like, and Christ came to this earth to show us that to be human can be good. To be human can be blessed by God, can be something that is worthy of a godly life. And so, as I continue to grow up, and someday I hope I'll get there, as I continue to grow and develop in my own emotions, my own feelings, my own understanding of what God is up to and what humans are meant to be, I hope that we are able to spend time celebrating the Psalms, because the Psalms are the music book of the church. And because of that, they have been the source of so much music, including the music that we sing today. But also, singing music that can include fear, longing, passion, anger, joy, the greatest possible peace. Martin Luther once said that when you pray, you pray once. But if you sing a prayer, you're singing twice. And I think that's because, for one thing, music slows us down enough to feel the words that we're saying. But also because music can help us get in touch with those emotions, those feelings, those passions that we might otherwise ignore or forget bring to God. Because what God celebrates is a world that God loves, a world that God created of people who have feelings, who get sad, who get lonely, who have difficulty, but who also, through bringing those emotions, those feelings, our whole selves to God, can know that all of us all of our lives, all of our feelings, all of our hearts can be redeemed by the God who became one of us and blessed our lives, our hearts, our minds, and our emotions, our full selves, with a glimpse of God. May we sing with joy and also with all the rest of ourselves. In Jesus' name. Amen. give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore 
every heart that is broken. And great are you, Lord. Let's do that part again. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken and great are you lord it's your breath it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise we pour out our praise it's your breath in our lungs so we pour neighborhood heard us pouring out our praise. <laughs> this time I invite all of our uh, students of all ages to come forward, also teachers and anyone who works in education. So teachers, paras, office staff, anyone who works in schools, bus drivers, everyone come on up for our backs to school blessing. And kids, make sure you bring your backpacks if you brought them today. Back to school blessing. Yay, is everyone excited to go back to school? Yay! 
Alex and Logan, come on, seniors this year. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody, Sid has a little thing for your backpack that he's going to hand out that has a little prayer on it that I will read. It says, wait, no, I can't see it. It says, Smarties in it, because you're going to get smart this year, right? All right. We're already all smart. It says from John, James chapter 4, verse 8, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. And then it says that your backpack has been blessed at St. James Lutheran Church. Let us join in prayer. Lord, these backpacks remind us that a new school year is about to begin. We pray your blessing upon their owners and upon all students, young and old, as they begin this new school year. We ask your blessing also on all who work with or support them in their education. Let each person who stands before us now feel the love and support of this congregation and grant this congregation the wisdom and means to meet their needs throughout the coming year. We are called to be a part of your work in the world, Lord, and you have given each one of us gifts and strengths to use in that work. Help each of these students to discover and develop his or her gifts and strengths and know how to use them for your purposes. Remind them, too, that whatever their gifts they are doing their, your work when they are kind and caring to others, when they do their best in their studies and other activities, when they respect others and themselves, and when they contribute in even small ways to make things better or more pleasant for others. Bless also, Lord, those who stand here with the students. Whatever their task or role in education, guide them to do it with a conscious effort to in some way make life better or more pleasant for others. Give them pride in what they do, reminding them and us that even the most ordinary task becomes extraordinary when done in God's name. We ask this all, Lord, knowing that you love and hear us. Amen. And I want you all to help me with this blessing. I want everyone to reach out their hands like this. Reach out your hands in blessing as we pray, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless these students, bless these teachers, and bless all who are beginning a new school year. In Jesus' name, amen. And you can go back to your seats. Thanks for coming up. And make sure to get your picture by the bus. Our next psalm... Our next psalm is Psalm 98, and uh, it is the, the hymn, Earth and All Stars, which is my favorite hymn to begin a new school year, is based off of Psalm 98. So let's read it responsibly before we sing Earth and All Stars. Sing a new song to the Lord, who has done marvelous things. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice, and sing. Sing to the Lord with the lyre the lyre and the voice of song with trumpets and the sound of the horn shout with joy before the king the lord let the sea roar and all that fills it the world and those who dwell therein let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the lord we sing earth and all stars
and powerful, yet you love each of us dearly. Thank you for guiding our lives and ruling all of creation. In the knowledge of your love and your power, we bring before you our prayers for the world. Lord of hosts, guide the leaders of our world and give your wisdom to all who are making decisions. Send your peace on earth. In you alone, the maker of heaven and earth, we find our help. We lift up our eyes to the hills. O oh Lord, hear us. Gracious God, may all your beloved children throughout the world feel your power and strength. Bring an end to violence. Feed the hungry. Shelter the homeless. Lift up the oppressed. And help us to journey with you in that work. God, we especially ask this day that you be with all those in the paths of fires, hurricanes, heat waves and storms and protect them. Bring favorable weather to all places. In you alone, the maker of heaven and earth, we find our help. We lift up our eyes to the hills. O oh Lord, hear us. God of compassion, bless us and those we love with health, peace, safety, and comfort. Especially we pray this day for Margaret Christensen, Leonard Johnson, Sarah Schuchart, and all those we name in our hearts at this time. In you alone, the maker of heaven and earth, we find our help. We lift up our eyes to the hills. <coughs> o Lord, hear us. Our help comes from you, O Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. For you watch over us day and night, and you provide for all we need through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in whose name we pray, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us stand and share words of peace with one another. <laughs>
You may be seated. At this time, we'll receive our offering. response inspired by Psalm 65 those who dwell at the ends of the earth will tremble at your marvelous signs you make the dawn and the dusk to sing for joy you visit the earth and water it abundantly you make it very plenteous the river of God is full of water you prepare the grain for so you provide for the earth you drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges with heavy rain you soften the ground and bless its increase you crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty may the fields of the wilderness be rich for grazing and the hills be clothed with joy may the meadows cover themselves with flocks and the valleys cloak themselves with grain let them shout for joy and sing In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. From Psalm 34, taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Happy are those who take refuge in him. All is ready for communion. We will be serving at one station of communion today, up here at the front. We will bring communion to you at other places if you are unable to come to the front. Um, there is gluten-free uh, wafers available upon request, and ushers will uh, pick up your cup, your empty cups from your seat. So uh, take the cup from us and return to your seat, and then we will, uh, the ushers will come pick them up from you after that. Let us join the feast.
Lord Jesus Christ, to strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. God of the abundant table, you have refreshed our hearts in this meal with bread for the journey. Give us your grace on the road that we might serve our neighbors with joy. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. is based on Psalm 27. God is our light, our hope, our all in all. Blessed be God now and forever. Christ is our home, our life, our joy. Blessed be God now and forever. 
Our worship concludes, our service continues. Blessed, Blessed be God, God now and, and forever. forever. Our closing song today is Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. When I put this in um, the search bar this week to see what psalms it was based on, there were about 15 listed. So this song comes from a lot of psalms, and we will sing that to close our worship today. And invite the kids to come on up to play instruments.